What's going on guys? We are back. Today we are doing drift prep. So, uh, mostly fluids. I gotta change my oil. I think I'm gonna do the trans and then the brake master. So, let me show you real quick what the brake master looks like. Bam! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, this comes out of a Toyota T100. I also heard people use 4Runner ones. Um, it's a larger master. I think the stock one is 15 sixteenths and this is like one and one sixteenth. So it's like larger. Um, this fitting will fit. This fitting comes in at an angle whereas the uh, Cressida one is actually like right on top. So I got to figure out how to bend this line to that side. Uh, and then, yeah, I don't know. There's a sensor, but the sensor in the Cressida one's on the top. So uh, maybe I can just move the cap or I might just have to extend the wires to run into the side over here to this um, sensor. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I guess disconnect the old one, dump it out and, uh, and then get this one mounted up and then run my hard lines. So uh, yeah, let's get started. I didn't realize there was that much fluid in here. That was a lot. Also, if you keep you always little, like soak it up with paper towels or something. <laughs> yeah. So if you keep a little pressure on the bulb, it keeps it all from dripping out. Okay. So you don't open it up all the way? Yeah. Um, and then move it in. Yeah. That's, I think it's because it's a dollar store baster. I'm not, so, a, uh, I'm not a master baster. It's not the greatest for <laughs> self basting activities. <laughs> Master, new master. They look about the same. Those holes line up. I'm not sure. I think the holes are bigger on the old one, that's why it looks different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, front port looks like it's in the same spot ish. I got it, it moves a little bit. The back one, obviously, one's crooked, one sideways, and one's vertical. But yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't work. So uh, yeah, let's toss in the new one. And connect the lines again. So we're gonna bench bleed this uh, new master. So if you've never seen this, basically what you wanna do is uh, on a bench, you wanna bleed it so that way you can get all the air out. Cause if you just throw it in there, you'll never get a lot of the little air pockets out. You'll just be bleeding forever on the car, wasting fluid. But uh, so I just have this kit. I think it's a Dorman kit. You can get it at any parts store. I've had them, but they got little plastic fittings to thread in. You just run your lines back in and then you just pump it. So basically you're just getting all the air out, you know, that's there. And you're gonna do it, I don't know, I'll we'll probably stand here for four or five minutes. So your arm gets tired? Yeah, or I'm just over it. <laughs> um, but you can see all the little air that comes out, all the little ones. And if you just throw this in there, you'll like be bleeding forever. through the pedal forever to get those out. So yeah, we're gonna do this and then uh, throw it in the car. You can see this one aims down, but this one's on the side, the new port. So I think what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try and bend somewhat to follow this bend, cause then it'll kind of line it up this way and then we'll just have to 90 into the hole. I don't know how we're gonna do that cause there's not much room in here, but uh, try it out. Yeah. 
Somebody asked me about my hydro setup in the, uh, in the comments of one of my other videos, so yeah, that's how it sits. The hydro lines run up it, up it, up in there, uh, and they come out on this side. Um, I drill the hole right back right here into the, um, the trans um, tunnel, right? And then the lines go in. So let me go ahead and show you what, what it looks like under the car. It's back up there is where it comes out of the trans tunnel, right? We have uh, both lines. And then I have it just nicely zip tied and P-clamped. And then this is where um, the magic happens. So uh, I had to delete a factory block. So if the brake line that goes to the back of the car um, has a union right here where these fittings are at. The fitting I went ahead and removed. And so the, um, the line coming from the brake master goes to the in of the hydro and then you have the out from the hydro going to the brakes now or the hard line that goes back to the brakes so yeah you delete the union and then you run your new fittings to where the union used to be and that's how you do an inline hydro setup you tighten up the hard lines you bolted the master back to the brake booster now i'm just using my uh, vacuum or my power bleeder thingy that Pressurizes this, right? So you don't actually have to step on the brake pedal and it just forces fluid out. So I do have to work the hydro because we noticed that we don't work the hydro. It doesn't seem to do the rear ones, but now that it's pressurized, I can go ahead and crack all four and bleed my brakes. So let's go ahead and bleed brakes. Okay. Okay. Do it again. There's like no air coming out, but I don't know if like how long we have to bleed for the air to come through. Yeah. Are you full? Full me. Okay. Okay. Full me. Okay. I'll do it one more time because I got a little air there. I think the air is coming through. Hold me. Yeah. Okay. One more. I can like feel it in the caliber. Um, the handle was smooth on that side. This side's a little, a little rough. Okay. Hold me. Getting better. I didn't get any air that time, but try it again. Yeah. Change the oil, change the trans fluid, change the brake master. Um, oh, and blood the clutch. And I just gotta throw on my, my, my drift wheels and we'll be ready to go so the 18s get to put away for a little bit. I need to drive on the 17s because I got plenty of 17s and I wanna go to 18s so I gotta kill all my 17s. So that'll take me until like the rest of the year to kill my 17s. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, you know, if you have any other questions about the Cressida, about our prep, let us know. Oh, I still gotta bulk check it. Damn it, I still gotta bulk check it. So, yeah, but maybe. I'm not gonna show you guys that, because that's just getting out of the car with a Cressida wrench and just making sure everything's tight. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a like, let us know what you think. If you have any questions about how I prep the car, let me know. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you later.